Well, today, Queen Elizabeth II's coffin it leaves Scotland. It heads home to London, and thousands and thousands of mourners across the UK do continue to pay their final respects to the late monarch. Eyewitness News anchor Jim Donovan has been live from Windsor Castle this week. In Windsor, England, with the very latest, and Jim, we are expecting even more crowds once the Queen's coffin arrives in London. That is correct, Janelle. Good afternoon. Uh, good morning, actually, to you folks uh, back home. Uh, so this is what's going on right now. Uh, the latest news, uh, King Charles III and Camilla, the Queen Consort, have just arrived in Belfast, Northern Ireland. They were met by large crowds on the roadway uh, as they wake, made their way to Hillsborough Castle. Uh, they'll be there uh, through the rest of the afternoon. Meanwhile, in Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, the Queen's coffin remains inside St. Giles Cathedral. Uh, overnight, there has been a viewing for people in Scotland so they can pay their respects to the Majesty. In the meantime, uh, also, there were rehearsals uh, for when the casket is transferred from Buckingham Palace later today um, to Westminster Hall. That is where the Queen will lie in rest for a period of four days. Uh, tonight, the coffin will be transported from uh, Edinburgh to London via a Royal Air Force jet. Uh, the coffin will be accompanied by the Queen's daughter, Princess Anne. So I think for everybody on parade today, it is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's a very sad day, but it is our opportunity, our last opportunity, to do a duty for the Queen. It's our first opportunity to do a duty for the King, and that makes us all feel very proud. We have the strongest bond with her. I know every single person on parade feels the same. Everybody wants to be involved, and everybody wants to deliver their absolute best. Um, back here in Windsor, uh, so at this point, the lines have been going around the cathedral in uh, Edinburgh. Some people waited an hour, uh, six hours uh, in line to pay their respects to Her Majesty. Uh, the line has now closed. We're not even sure if those folks that are still in line will be able to, to pay their respects. Uh, the folks in, uh, in London are saying that the lines there are expected to reach anywhere like 12 hours or more. Um, and they're expecting possibly 750,000 people to go to Westminster Hall over the next few days. The forecast is for heavy rain tomorrow, so it'll be interesting to see if the crowds turn out as expected. But uh, for the meantime, we're live outside here at uh, Windsor Castle, Windsor, England. Back to you both in the studio. Jim, thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Of course, stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage as the world remembers.